Hello learners, welcome back to Robo Army. Have you ever seen any machine which is running autonomously after getting a single instruction? I know that you are thinking about robots who do their work all day long, but what's inside them? They have a special part inside them called a microcontroller, which acts like their brain. Today, we are going to talk about Arduino, an open source platform that combines a small microcontroller with software called Arduino IDE. It's like a tiny computer that can be programmed to control different electronic projects. So let's get started and learn how to program Arduino for LED blinking. First, let's understand what an Arduino is. It's a versatile circuit board that can be programmed to regulate various electronic projects. There are several versions available, but the most well-known and widely used board is this Arduino UNO. It runs off a microcontroller which is like a mini computer or brain of your Arduino board. You can connect different components to it. These give power to the components. These 14 digital pins can be used as either input or output pins to send and receive binary values like high and low. When used as output, these pins act as a power supply source for the components connected to them. When used as input pins, they read the signals from the component connected to them. Digital pins marked with tilde symbol can simulate analog signals by sending high pulses, creating variable voltages or we can say, they simulate analog outputs like fading an LED in and out. These six analog pins can read continuous data from analog sensors like a temperature sensor. For powering our Arduino board, it has a DC power port and an USB port for programming our Arduino. You can plug it using this USB connector into your computer and use the Arduino software that is Arduino IDE to code it in C++. Let us see how to download the Arduino IDE. First, open your web browser and search for the Arduino IDE. You can easily find this URL in the description below. Here, you'll see different versions of the Arduino IDE available for various operating systems. Choose the one that matches your operating system. In this video, I'll show you how to download it for Windows. Click on Windows Installer for Windows 10 and newer. A new page will open asking if you'd like to contribute to the Arduino software. If you want to support Arduino, you can make a donation. For now, we we'll click on Just Download to proceed. Write your email ID. Confirm it. Subscribe and download. The download will start automatically. Once it's finished, Open the downloaded file to begin the installation process. Follow the installation prompts. Accept the license agreement, choose the installation options and click install. The installation might take a few minutes. And that's it. You successfully downloaded and installed the Arduino IDE. A normal Arduino sketch consists of two functions, setup, which runs once to initialize the settings just after the board is powered up, and the loop function, which runs the code over and over. Let's write the code to blink this inbuilt LED of Arduino board, which is at 13 number pin. In void setup, we declare pins for this LED. Pin number 13 as output. In void loop, we can use digital write function to set this LED with high signal. High means on. Delay, which is in microseconds to give it a pause. And low signal to make it off. For uploading we need to select the board. 
So, select the port and the board type. Now just upload the code and check if any error occurs. Our code uploaded successfully. You can see the LED on the board start blinking. You can also try to connect an external LED with two terminals, anode at pin 13 and cathode at GND, which means ground pin. Wow! It's an easy blinking circuit. This time the LED is getting on and off with a half second time interval. But now in the code, if we change this delay value like 2000s and 1000 here, and upload the code in the same way. Then, the output will change. See, how the small changes in coding can give us different output. Do you know this IDE software has some pre-written codes also? Just go to a new sketch. Now go to the file option in the menu bar, then go to examples, then select basic. You will also see some pre-written codes. And open blink code. We need to control an LED which is present on the Arduino board. Upload it on the board and see. You can also download the code file given in the description. Now. Let us see how to install libraries in the Arduino IDE. Libraries make it easy to add functionality to your Arduino projects without having to write a lot of code from scratch. For libraries, you have to go to sketch menu at the top, then navigate to include library and finally click on manage libraries. Here, you can search for libraries by name or keyword. For example, if we want to install the servo library to control servo motors, we simply type servo in the search bar. Now, you'll see a list of results. Find the library you are looking for and click on the install button next to it. Here, we can include it in our sketches whenever required. You will see how to use this library in our upcoming video so stay tuned with us. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to our channel for more exciting upcoming projects. Till then keep learning.